We're fixing to go set up the solar panels. The sun is coming up, and that means we get to do some testing and show you what it can do. All right, you remember the little studs that were sticking out? They go inside here and then slide down. You can have your connections at the top or the bottom. I prefer to have mine at the bottom. They're not going to have be having the heat rising up and hitting them. They'll be cooler at the bottom. But anyway, one here and one right here. We'll go on those two tabs. Set that up. All right, so we set her down in. And that one's solid and set in there. Now you remember I had this uh, little LED part here. We're not in full sunlight, but you can tell that LED is lit. It's a 24 volt LED with the uh, resistor network that's in it. And it will not light up on 12 volts. Even in the shade, it lights up real nice. So this solar panel is good. We're going to get the next ones and set those up and give them a test. All you have to do is get it all the way to the bottom, line it up with those studs, pull back on it just a little bit and they'll pop in. Those are set. We'd like this side's up a little higher, I missed one. There we go. Now it's set up. That framework getting more sturdy. Okay, as you can see, I'm in the shade. Uh, this one's lit up. Time to test the other one. Hello there, tequila doggy. And this one's lit up. Here, doggy, lick them terminals. <laughs> and one more. And that proves that they work. All right, now we're going to go ahead and hook up the rest of this. Okay, as you can see, I have these hooked up already. I hooked up the positive wire first, then the negative. Then I hooked up the charge controller, and I plugged into the pigtails and all, all three of the solar panels right here. We are out in the sun. I'm fixing to give some voltage measurements and see what we have. All right, as you can see here, the sun's just coming up. It's at a very low angle, and I've got 21.97 volts. That's close to 22 volts. I had 22.6 a minute ago. Got a little bit of cloud cover coming up. Anyway, so I just got it hooked up to one of these solar panels. 22.95 volts DC. That's nice. And it's going into a 12 volt battery. It takes almost twice the voltage of the battery to put a good charge on it and get these things to act good. 24 volts is good. 21 volts is good. Or 22 volts is real good, especially for the morning and the sun just coming up. It's not hitting these solar panels at the right angle. I'm going to tip them forward just a little bit. And you see it climbing up. I'm nowhere near the right angle because I don't have enough wire here. There we go, 22.14 volts. I'm going to set it back down. There we go, back down to 21.94. Okay, this battery was at right at about 10 volts. It's an old battery. And right now I've got 12.89 and it's climbing. I can get an amperage uh, reading here in just a second. Show you how to measure your amperage. First you disconnect from the battery and you want to go in series with your wire. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is take this off here and put it in amps. Never connect it across the battery to find out how many amps the battery can go. It will blow your meter. So always as soon as you're done with amperage you want to put your terminal back over where it's supposed to be. We're going to go to DC amps. Right now it's showing nothing because I don't have anything in line. Okay, so I've put the negative lead to the negative post of the battery, and this is still in the right slot. You can do it on the positive way too. And I got the positive over to this negative. Right now I'm looking at 1.31 amps DC going into my battery. When the sun comes up, this should jump up pretty close to about 4. Okay, so I've hooked the clamp up. I've taken the meter out and put everything back the way it should be. Got the negative clamp here and the positive clamp here. Goes to this quick disconnect, 12 volt receptacle, and then a plug right into the modified sine wave inverter. I've got this plugged in and this is on. Matter of fact, I had this off first. Remember, positive first, then hook up the negative. Okay, and then this runs over here to my radio and. Sorry, don't want to play no music and have to have copyright infringement, so I just kind of scan through, but to show you that it all works. 
Then I can cut this back off and disconnect. And that's how the whole system works. We don't even have full uh, sunlight over here. We got mostly shade. <laughs> okay, it's been almost about a full hour and we are in direct sunlight and almost right at the right angle of sun. We're looking at 13.29 volts on the battery. It is definitely charging this battery. As you can see, I've left this in line so it's the battery still drawing current through the charge controller. And I've got the leads across the two terminals. And coming over here and I'm showing 14.42 volts. So a little resistance between here and finally getting to that 13 plus voltage here you show just a little bit of voltage drop going through here we're looking at 14.42 that's not open voltage on the panels but you can see that it uh, the battery and the charge controller are actually drawing the solar panels down we're going to get an open voltage reading now and the open voltage which in case you don't know what open voltage is means it is disconnected from any load at all and it's showing 22.3 Two volts. That's pretty good. Less than a uh, little bit more than a volt and a half of what it would get at the perfect angle, and the sun being at high noon. Doing pretty good. I decided to check the amperage before I decided uh, before leaving. I've got 2.88 amps, almost three amps. That's not bad so far. I'll give it one more check right around high noon and see what the battery's looking like. Okay, to finish up. Uh, Basically yesterday, this battery was just under 10 volts when I started off. I fell asleep at the end of the day because I'd been up all night and didn't get to get my other readings. I did get one uh, around 2 o'clock and it said 13.7 at the point. Well, we look right here. This one here says charging. Now it's dropping back down. That's because this charging is off and it says the battery is charged. It finished charging yesterday watch this it'll drop when it gets to 13 volts that charge light will drop again come on keep on charging we're not even in full sunlight over here yet We've got clouds and the tree shade and some of this this is how that charge controller works it disconnects the solar panels charge from the battery on other ones that have a dump load it turns it to a big resistor load that gives off heat you're gonna watch this climb real fast here in a minute I'll tell you when that light came on oh. The lights on it says it's charging look it's throwing more back into the batteries again we got up to 14 wow and there you have it and it's saying that it's charged again we'll watch it one more time now these uh solar panels are still making juice just uh none of it's flowing it's not under a load and we're going to watch right here it's still at 0.05 Oop. Just hit 0 .04, 13.04, .04, and we'll finish watching it climb here. It gets to the top, just above 14 point, almost hit 14.2, and then, of course, it went back to charged again instead of charging. So that's how the charge controller works. It keeps your battery from absorbing too much from the solar panels. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Thank you very much for watching.